Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, uh, I join Michelle in welcoming you to uh, the 2020 edition of the Global Digital uh, Content Market uh, Conference, uh, and I thank you all for joining us. I think we're very new, you're very numerous who have uh, managed to tune in, and uh, I welcome you all. It's really a great pleasure to have you all here. Uh, I have, unfortunately, to start on a very sad note um, today, and that is that uh, several weeks ago we lost one of our dearly loved colleagues, uh, Madame Carole Coella. Uh, Carole joined the organization some 20 years ago in, in, in uh, the year 2000. Uh, she was a truly wonderful uh, colleague, and we're all devastated by her loss uh, in a tragic car accident. Uh, she was instrumental in, in many, many things, Carol. Uh, she participated uh, in a key role in three diplomatic conferences that we held uh, in the years 2000, 2012, and 2013, which led to uh, the adoption of the Beijing and Marrakesh treaties. Uh, she was very enthusiastic for supporting the rights of creators all around the world, but particularly in developing countries. Uh, and she dedicated, really, her professional life to this task. Uh, she participated and led many projects under the WIPO development agenda uh, that enabled her to fulfill her deep personal commitment uh, <coughs> to creators in developing countries, to artists, uh, authors, performers, uh, and other rights holders all around the, the world. Uh, Carol was the executive producer of this conference, uh, and she had done an extraordinary amount of work in assembling and organizing <coughs> uh, and designing the conference. So we would like to dedicate this conference to the memory of uh, Carol Croella. Uh, and if I may, I'd like to ask you just to observe a few seconds of silence in her memory. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, let me turn to the uh, conference uh, today. Um, this is the third conference, I think, as some of you are aware, that we're holding on the global digital content market. Uh, the first was in 2016, uh, and then we held a regional version of it in 2018 in India, and now we're back in Geneva, or broadcasting from Geneva in 2020. Uh, it's not a physical meeting, unfortunately, because of the restrictive circumstances of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but we've tried to compensate for that and put together uh, an interesting program with live panel discussions, uh, as well as many video interventions, and I hope it will be an interesting several days. Our aim in 2016 was to take the pulse of the global digital content market. Uh, and indeed, it's our aim uh, again in 2020. Um, in 2016, it was a rapidly developing market that we could see. Uh, and one of the things that we would like to do in the course of the next few days is to see what developments have occurred, what the evolution of the market has been uh, in terms of business models, uh, different markets that are developing, uh, the role of uh, information technology in supporting this uh, marketplace, uh, and what measures, uh, if any, are needed to support the market. Um, there have been a number of differences that I think are immediately perceptible between 2016 and 2020. One of those is the arrival in a major way of artificial intelligence as a general purpose technology uh, with implications right across society and the economy. And of course, it's infiltrating the creative industries. Uh, and it is playing uh, an, an increasingly important role in the production, uh, the distribution, and indeed the consumption, consumption patterns uh, of uh, <laughs> the creative industries. 
Um, we have a dedicated panel uh, on this subject and uh, that I think should be an extremely uh, interesting panel. Uh, it's an opportunity for me to mention also that we have a process within the World Intellectual Property Organization, a conversation we call it, on the intersection of artificial intelligence and uh, intellectual property and that it has attracted a widespread participation. We are trying to formulate <coughs> the right questions uh, and to <coughs> start to develop a discussion around those uh, questions. So we would be delighted if you would participate in that process as well. Um, so far we <coughs> we've had several meetings and there is another one due in November this year. Another development, of course, has been the consolidation of the market. Uh, we've seen extraordinary consolidation and, uh, of this global content market, digital content market. Uh, inter uh, information technology, as I mentioned, is more and more prominent uh, as the underlying technology enabler of the marketplace. Uh, it enables the connectivity of the market. Uh, it, um, uh, many developments are occurring there. Uh, and it's very important, of course, to ensure interoperability in a global digital market, uh, as well as the efficiency of that market. So this will be the subject of another panel, and we'll be looking at what difficulties, if any, we are experiencing in this respect in order to ensure that we have excellent interoperability uh, and a very efficient marketplace. <coughs> COVID-19 pandemic uh, is another uh, a development with a massive impact, of course, uh, on the whole world. And let me take the opportunity to express our sympathy for all those who have experienced loss, but also our solidarity for <coughs> the frontline workers who have enabled us to uh, cross, uh, traverse this uh, extremely difficult challenge for the whole world. Um, in terms of uh, its impact on the global market, the global digital market, well, I think, first of all, <coughs> confinement and the restriction measures have underlined once again just how important the creative industries are to our well-being. If you think of having uh, uh, had to experience the period of confinement or lockdown, without the advantage of the creative industries, it would have been a much more, much more miserable experience. So we really see how important they are to our health, actually, uh, and our mental stability, and to the enrichment uh, of our lives and cultural lives uh, in particular. But of course, uh, there have been some sectors of the creative industries that have been extremely hard hit. Some have done quite well. The platforms, the increased consumption uh, under circumstances of lockdown, but <coughs> live performances have suffered, of course, dreadfully all around the world, and it's a great threat to the cultural life that we knew prior to the pandemic. Uh, I think it underlines the need for government support for these vital sectors of the creative industries and in particular for creators. Um, <clears throat> let me take the opportunity also to mention an exciting new initiative of WIPO, which is WIPO for Creators. Uh, this is a consortium of WIPO and the Music Rights Awareness Foundation. Uh, the objective is to support creators throughout the world, uh, without whom we don't have, of course, a digital content market or any creative industries, uh, to ensure that they receive appropriate recognition and fair remuneration, uh, and to serve uh, as a means of enhancing education and awareness amongst creators uh, of the importance for them and their well-being um, of intellectual property and copyright in particular underlying uh, uh, the, as the underlying business model for all of the creative industries. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all uh, a very pleasant time during this uh, conference. 
Uh, and I will now have pleasure in handing back to my colleague, Michelle Woods.